which is not even realistic. Again, suck it, but, you know. And he did start off as the bully, but he does later on come, sort of come to come Corey's friend. And even in the last episode, you know, he squeezes that box of cigarettes and a bunch of tar gets out. It's really gross looking. And in the words of Raven, you know, better on the carpet than in your lungs. But, you know, I guess some of these episodes were kind of preachy, but for good reasons. And good, well, they were well-intentioned, and they were handled pretty well for a Disney Channel show. And so, so many, remember characters, remember episodes, remember situations, costumes, anything. You know, it really is just the best show ever. And if Raven Simone is in it... I probably would watch it any night, even if even that one crappy movie she was in a few years ago with Martin Lawrence, I believe, and the Cheetah Girls. Uh, I hate the Cheetah Girls music in the movies, but I watched them because she was in it. And you know, Raven Simone is really, I guess, a good role model, like Hilary Duff. You know, and cause you can't really say a lot about a, a lot about it. You know, about a lot of people, girls, particularly the females, that you know, the women that you know that were Disney you know, child stars, you can't, you know, Miley Cyrus, Lindsay Lohan, yada yada yada, you've heard it all before, I don't know if Selena Gomez is controversial yet, I don't know, I don't care, but yeah, That's So Raven was, is the greatest show this channel has ever done, and I didn't say the top 15 best old Disney shows, I said it, this is in general, because like I said earlier, you know, five hours ago, there's nothing good on Disney Channel now that I know of, really. So, there you go. And I guess you can say this is opinion, technically, but most people would agree with this list, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> now, some honorable mentions, and even some dishonorable mentions, because there were old shows that were on Disney Channel that I didn't care for, even back then or now. Now, some honorable mentions are, like I said, Recess, Boy Meets World. Like I said, some of these shows weren't even originally on Disney Channel, but they got rerun on there. Oh, my God. They're doing a spinoff of Boy Meets World, and it is going to be on Disney Channel. It's Girl Meets World, Ben Savage, and fucking... I can't remember the actor's name right now, but the, the girl who plays Topanga, they're, uh, they're coming back. Uh, Sean, the friend's coming back, making cameos and stuff, I believe. Eric, Corey's brother, might be in there. Mr. Feeney, I hope, is going to be in there. Who doesn't love Mr. Feeney? <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that once. And Girl Meets World will be on Disney Channel later this year, maybe next year. I can't remember. I think it's later this year. I hope it's later this year. I think by the summer or fall? I want to say summer, but I don't know. I think no fall. Uh, look it up on Wikipedia or something like that. Girl Meets World. It's happening, though. It's confirmed. So there's that. It's going to... You know, center on, it's going to focus on their daughter, obviously, but still, not a bad concept. Now, now, so another honorable mentions would be, um, fuck, what else was on that, like, well, mm, no, not, that's going to be a dishonorable mention. Let's just get right into the dishonorable mentions right now. Uh, Dave the Barbarian, while I did like it as a kid, at least for, like, the few months that I watched it. It was okay, but now it's just, it was really stupid. And I'm kind of glad they didn't last a long time. Dave the Barbarian wasn't that great of a show. It came around, came out around the same time as Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. I think it lasted about as long as that show. Um, I didn't really care for Bug Juice. Does anybody remember what Bug Juice is? If not, I can look it up. It was, it was kind of boring to me. But, and there's obviously the Sunny with a chance. Uh, didn't care for that at all. And Phineas and Ferb. A lot of people are gonna disagree with me here, but Phineas and Ferb. While I was 11 when it came out, 11, 12, and I did like it at the time. Growing up, even watching the new episodes and the rewatching the older episodes, it's actually kind of boring. Like, it is creative in the sense that these two little kids do, can do whatever they want, make whatever they want, get away with it every damn episode, but 
at the same time, they kind of handle it so blandly, and the characters aren't themselves aren't really that interesting, and some of the running gags get, got old really fast, and they still do, I believe. Not, they do have some good songs on there. Now, what a lot of people consider the best Phineas and Ferb song is Itchy Itchy Goo, I Love You, whatever, but that is fucking annoying. I'm sorry, it just is. Um, probably the best song from Phineas and Ferb might be, you know, that, that band that the parents listen to in that show, Love Handle, I believe it was their, Love Handle? Yeah, I think it might have been called Love Handle. And there was that one saying, you know, I ain't got rhythm, while well, he's doing rhythm the whole time, because rhythm is in all of us, it's, you know, a heartbeat, whatever. I'm I'm quoting stuff that my music teacher has said now, but yeah, those are just some you know honorable and dishonorable mentions. So yeah, now I am finally done after about two hours and sixteen minutes.